Okay, now, one of the reasons they call it a clownfish is because the lips do look a little bit puffy, like a clown. So I'm going to exaggerate a little bit. You don't have to. You can make it look more realistic if you want, but I gave them kind of puffy lips. <laughs> and now all I have left to do is the stripes around the fish, so I'm going to curve the lines. Stay with us. And then I'm going to go this direction with these stripes over here. The eye of a fish is easy. It's just a circle. Within a circle, you can make some creases around his eyes if you want. Okay, now, let's go ahead, before we start to color in the fish and give it, you know, start making it look real, um, you can add some rocks into the background. And then the coral almost looks like seaweed. really don't care what color you color in the fish. If you want to make your, your um, clownfish red and orange, uh, green, you want to change the speci species of the fish, you can.
then there was light. Okay. Now, you can put little bubbles if you want. Big ones, small ones. Remember, think about your composition. Make it look interesting. You could draw another clownfish off in the distance. I've got paper right up here if you wanted to start over. Remember, though, this is just a sketch. This is only a sketchbook grade worth 20%. It's 20, portfolios are 60. 20 is a lot? Then you better try. If you think it's a lot, you better try. Think of coral as almost looking like noodles. Or basically weeds underwater. Weeds underwater. And you can practice blending other colors together, going from red to orange. <laughs> you got to stop. Just work right now. Boys. Okay. Also, work on a background. Definitely color around your coral reefs. Stop talking, boys back there. No. Cambridge, are you working? You're going to turn these, Jacob, you guys are going to turn these into me. When you leave, your first and last name is going to be on the back or on the front. And I expect these in my hands as we leave today. Let me check the clock. It is 1225. And this will be on YouTube for those students who want to practice tonight. This actual drawing will be on YouTube without me talking. I take out the words. Stop talking so much because you're not going to have much to show me today. And then I'm not going to have much to grade. Good. But could you imagine if you didn't talk how much more you would get done? You'd have it done. Practice blending white into the black when you're drawing the fish, too.
Try blending your colors together to get some of your results that you want. Thank you. 